Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Holly and I hope that everyone's having a great day so far. Today I'm going to share a recipe for meat pies and this is a Pioneer Woman recipe so I will link the recipe down below in the description box. Now it does take a little time to make because you do have to thaw the rolls and let them proof for about two to three hours but while that's proofing you can also get everything else together and in this recipe uh, Rhodes yeast dinner rolls is what was used and you thaw rise and bake these and I used 20 of them and that is what the recipe called for you need one cup of pepper jack cheese one onion chopped and two poblano peppers but you can also use green bell pepper if you would prefer and salt and pepper to taste you will also need some cumin and some pepper flakes and chili powder parsley which you need a half a cup of chopped parsley fresh two eggs and two tablespoons of water for an egg wash one egg i think would have been fine three tablespoons of tomato paste and four cloves of garlic chopped would recommend using a um, a roller so that way you can roll out the dough and you will also need one and a half pounds of ground meat but you will first put your rolls on a cookie sheet and I'm using 20 of those and just have them separated a little bit and then just take a towel and lay it over top and you want to let that proof for anywhere between two and three hours and in the meantime what you will do is heat up a tablespoon of oil in a pan and then add your onions and your peppers and you want to just saute that down until they're translucent and soft then add your pepper flakes now like I said if you like spice then I would add just a little bit more of the pepper flakes to it or even add a little bit of jalapeno pepper but it was not spicy to us at all and you can just mix that up really well now add the garlic cloves and you will cook this for about two more minutes and you just want that garlic to cook down just a little bit now I transferred this to a bowl that way I can cook the ground meat in the same pan and you just want to chop up your uh, or break up the meat as much as you can into little pieces but I forgot to also mention you need three-fourths of a teaspoon of kosher salt so add that and mix it in with your cumin and chili powder and I like to just kind of sprinkle it on all over the meat so that way all the meat gets seasoned and it's not just like when you dump it in it's just on one clump I just like to make sure all of it gets seasoned now just make sure that you stir it in well you just want to make sure that that seasoning gets incorporated throughout that meat now add the tomato paste and just add a fourth of a cup of water and that will help to bind everything together so just make sure you stir it well now once you have that done then you will add the peppers and the onions back into the pan and you just want to incorporate that well so just make sure everything's combined now you can either leave the mixture once it's heated through because uh, that's all you're going to do here is just heat this through with the onions and the peppers and the meat because everything's cooked you just want to incorporate it but once that's done I took this meat out of the pan to let it cool because you want to let it cool completely before we end up going to the next step 
and this is what the rolls will look like once they're proofed and I let mine sit out for three hours now on a floured surface just roll out with a rolling pin roll out the dough and they will be about four inches they're not very big but four inches is about the size that you want and I do this first for all of them so for all 20 <laughs> I did this now once the meat mixture is completely cool then add your cheese and add your parsley flakes and then you will stir those two into the meat mixture uh, until it's completely incorporated Now add just a little bit of salt and pepper uh, to taste. Now take one of the rolls that you flattened out and it calls for one and a half tablespoons of mixture to add to it. And I'm just using the scoop and I felt like this worked pretty good. But if you don't have one, just use one and a half tablespoons. And I take the fork and I just kind of push back on that meat and just kind of fold it over. And anything that falls out, I just push it back in. And then just put the seams together. And I usually just take the fork and just go around it and press down. So that way you get a good seal so nothing seeps out of it and you just want to check it after you've done that just to make sure that there's nothing that's not uh, pressed together and then I'm just going to continue to do that for the 20 um, rolls that I have and I'm just showing one more just to give you the idea of how to put that into that dough And this is what was left over after I did 20 of those. So if you want to do more, you can. Uh, just 20 was plenty enough for us. And they can be frozen also. If you don't eat them all, you can freeze them in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. But you can also use that mixture for another recipe or something if you'd prefer. Now once the meat pies are on a baking sheet, just brush the egg wash over them and then bake this in the oven on 400 for 10 to 12 minutes and I only baked mine for 10 minutes and they were fine uh, but this is what they look like when they're done and as I said they're not very spicy so if you want to add more spice go ahead and do that but they were good uh, meat pies so I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one please click that subscribe button and the notification bell that will notify you when I post new videos and I hope that everyone has a blessed day and I thank you all so much for watching. God bless.